the rise in popularity of digital SLRs, it's become easy for anyone to try their hand at amateur wildlife photography. We were lucky enough to catch up with Rob English to find out what some of his favorite hotspots are for catching that wildlife in action in and around Calgary. Well, many people would probably be surprised to find out how many amazing inner city places they can go to to see some wildlife, Rob. Oh yeah, it's uh, Carbon Park comes to mind. It's one of my favorites, probably because when I was a kid, I played in that area before River Bend or Carbon Park was even a park. So it's got a little history with me uh, being in the area all this time. And before the 2013 flood, most people that went into that park just thought it was the hidden jewel of the city because it had all kinds of wildlife, all kinds of birds, animals and everything and it was just a great, just great. But since the flood and like all river parks, it took the brunt of it and it had a whole lot of damage and it's taking a, a, taking a time for it to come back. I've just, I noticed the last two years the wildlife is starting to come back. Uh, uh, the animals and the birds and, and there's there's deer in there there's there's uh, I've got porcupines in there there's beaver in the pond which some people have pros and cons on that because of the damage they do to the trees and whatnot but it's just an all around place easy to get to uh, it's just uh, off river bend and uh, the problem is that it's people pressure and there's a lot of people with dogs in there so if you know, it's a great place to go, but people have to look after the area, Absolutely. you know, in, honor it. What is your most prized photograph from Carburn Park? Prized, uh, from Carburn, I would say when the owls, uh, when the owls nested there at the parking lot, they created quite a stir. And it was another thing that was people all from all over, over the city came because they were right, just had to ride, drive into the parking lot. The nest was right up in the tree there and whatnot. But uh, the photos that I enjoyed the most out of there was after a rainfall mm -hmm. because these poor owls were just sopping wet and their feathers are all matted and they just look so miserable <laughs> that it, it, was, it was really great. I really enjoyed that. That's one of my favorite photos. What about some of the bigger predators that you've seen at Carbon Park? Well, there's eagles and there's ospreys. And uh, there's a, a pair of eagles that nest there just right by the hair, across from the heritage car lots there. Uh, they nest, they've nested there for years and whatnot. Uh, last year, they had two young. As a matter of fact, one came over when it fledged and it was on the ground in the park. I got some photos of it on the ground and uh, Actually, the parks people thought it was hurt, but it wasn't. It was just, just a case that it, it got tired and it come down onto the ground and it just sat there while I took photos. And then the ospreys, well, there's ospreys up and down the river, but there was also a pair that nested over beside the, the golf course mm -hmm. that's there, there's all the driving range and whatnot. My biggest goal is to get an osprey diving for a fish and picking it out of the water. I've never been able to get one yet and that, that's something that I'm still going after. The elusive photo. The elusive photo. <laughs>